This is a CJSR podcast. Volunteer powered. Listener supported. Campus and community. Radio. Podcast. Podcast. Radio. Radio Radio and and podcast. podcast. (laughs) (laughs) This is kind of like a hot, gelatiny, oniony Caesar. My name is Caitlin, and I'm a producer for That's Food, and today I'm here to talk to you about aspics. For those who don't know, aspics are a type of gelatin or jello salad that were very popular in the 50s and 60s. Some were very simple, but some could be very complicated, involving layers of different colored jello or gelatin with different foods suspended in them. They are one of my obsessions because they are so aesthetically strange. So much so that they don't really look like food at all. To many people today, they seem bizarre and definitely not very palatable. In this episode, we are going to explore the wonderful world of aspics by making one, and then trying it. So stick around and find out what eating a gelatin salad is really like. So we're picking out an aspic recipe. I have in front of me the Pilot Club cookbook, casserole favorites, including salads. Okay, we're going to go to the molding vegetable. Page 149. Okay, right away. Glorified cabbage salad? Oh my god, it has lemon gelatin. Do they mean like lemon jello? Like sweet lemon jello? I don't get it. It's lemon gelatin, water, pineapple juice, marshmallows, lemon, celery, cabbage, pineapple chunks, half a cup of salad dressing. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that one. Um, pickled beet mold with sour cream dressing. Oh my god, that one's with orange gelatin. Asparagus loaf asparagus salad Hmm. broccoli salad sounds kind of good oh it has eggs in it Uh, that makes me feel weird (laughs) this can't be real (laughs) oh yeah we're getting to it tomato aspic unflavored gelatin one cup cold tomato juice three and a half cups hot tomato juice Lemon juice, minced onion, Worcestershire sauce, salt. Ooh, two cans of shrimp or desired seafood. I don't know if I ever desire seafood, really. I think probably going to have to go with the tomato aspect, but just no seafood. I know that's like breaking the rules a little bit, but have some pity on me, please. So having picked up my recipe, a pretty classic tomato aspect, I went out and gathered my ingredients and got down to making it. (laughs) Alright. So we're starting on Operation Aspic. I have one teaspoon of minced onion, a tablespoon of lemon juice, a whole box of Knox gelatin. I'm not going to use all of it, but... So the recipe says that I need to have... Well, okay. First off, this recipe calls for shrimp. I'm not putting shrimp in. Like, it says to use, like, four whole cups of tomato juice, and I don't really want four whole cups of aspic, so I'm gonna half the recipe. So I still need two cups of tomato juice, and it says, like, a quarter of that has to be cold, and then three quarters of the tomato juice has to be hot. So yeah, we're gonna separate the tomato juice and then heat it up. Why do you... I'm having right now. Why do you put tomato juice in cans? What's the deal with that? I have questions. Oh yeah, there's that tomato juice smell. Okay, that's one and three quarter cups. I'm gonna put it in a little pot. on the stove. 
I want a package of gelatin. Kind of soften it. Sprinkling it on the sprinkle, sprinkle. I don't know how long it takes gelatin to soften. This recipe assumes that I know a lot of things that I don't really know. We got some hot tomato juice. Okay, I think it's hot enough. Okay, we're pouring the hot tomato juice in the cold gelatin tomato juice. Oh my god, that didn't go so good. Let's see. Ooh, steamy. Okay. Now we have the lemon. Seasoning salt. I'm making up right now. Worcester tire sauce. Okay. This is kind of like a hot gelatiny oniony Caesar with no clams. I guess we could put clam juice. It's supposed to have shrimp. Nah. All right, and that's it. Now we just, now we just refrigerate this, I guess. So it's in the mold and um, now we're just, now we wait. After several hours of waiting, I took the aspic out of the fridge to be unmolded and invited my friend Yvonne to try it. I am, I am Yvonne and I am about to taste the aspic. supposed to put it on a bed of lettuce but I'm not doing that <laughs> what's in it it's tomato juice some seasonings some onion and some lemon and gelatin oh. why it's gelatin yeah it's it's like congealed tomato soup <laughs> which is good have you ever had anything like this before? No. no. Yes, it's good. It's a nice savory treat. Would you, would you eat it again? Uh, yeah, I would eat it again. Maybe with bread. Oh, that's interesting. You're supposed to make like a little sauce that goes with it. Sauce? Yeah. Oh. Chopped celery, chopped onion, and chopped green pepper in mayonnaise. Oh, with vegetables. Yeah. yeah. that would be nice. But not mayonnaise. Wow, wow. <laughs> no. Okay, well, I wouldn't dig. It's really ugly. Well, it looks like it looks like tomatoes out of a can. Yeah. It's not ugly. It's just... There's ways uh, to make them look like really... It's particularly ugly to me. But There's ways to make them really pretty. Yes, that's my... That's my review <laughs> of the tryout. What what else do you want to know? No, that's it. Okay. What if there was on that note? What if there was shrimp in it? I'm allergic to shrimp. But if you were, I don't like shrimp. I don't like their aspect. So what is the deal with aspects? Turns out they're not that bad if you can get used to the idea of savory Jello. The biggest takeaway for me was how easy they can be to make. My aspect took less than 10 minutes to put together before having to cool and congeal for several hours. It turned out sort of ugly, but if you had a nice mold and were a little bit more practiced, I can see this being a great dish to make for a dinner party. You make it several hours in advance and then forget about it for a while while you get other things ready. Some people say that the aspic craze was a way for homemakers to show off that they had refrigeration, and this could definitely be true. However, 
I sort of think that it was probably just very exciting to make fun, colorful, wiggly dishes. After having made my own, I definitely see the appeal. Though, maybe I'll probably keep avoiding putting any seafood anywhere near aspects. Your snack fact of the day is that it's easier to unmold aspics if you dip the outside of the mold in warm water first, a fact that I wish I had known before I started this episode. And that's it for this episode of That's Food. Today's episode was produced by me, Caitlin Carbonic, with help from the That's Food team. Our music is by Doug Hoyer. You can find all of our episodes on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, and on our website, that'sfood.transistor.fm. You can contact us at that'sfood at cgsr.com. We are That's Food CGSR on Facebook and Instagram. That's Food is produced at CGSR in Edmonton on Treaty 6 territory. Catch you next time, snack pals. But is it food? That's food! Again, I'm not counting down. I'm not counting it down. Wait, we're not counting?